Hello football lovers, welcome to performance. This channel will discuss everything about football. In this opportunity, we will show you about most caps players for all nations which are included in FIFA members. I think it will be very interesting for all of you who are crazy with football. We will keep uploading video and update all information about football every week. So please keep your eyes on to this channel. Perhaps in the next video, we will talk about your country. Before we continue, we really need your help to subscribe this channel and like this video so that we can improve this channel together. Then you can share this video to other football lovers so that everyone can get more knowledge about football. Oh yes, please don't forget to leave your positive comments. Thank you very much fellas. In this video, we will talk about most caps players for Belgian national team in every position. Why do we talk about Belgium in this video? It is simply because they are in the first position in the current FIFA's ranking. Belgium is located in the Western Europe. They got their independence in 21st July 1831. In 1 September 1895, they established their football association which was named Royal Belgian Football Association in Brussels. They joined FIFA in 1904 and registered to UEFA 50 years later. Until now, Belgium has been playing in 13 World Cup with the biggest achievement was third place in 2018 and five UEFA European Championship with the biggest achievement was runner up in 1980. Their biggest achievement as national team was the gold medal in the Olympic football tournament in 1920. As written in the history, they got their biggest defeat in a match when they lost 2-11 against English amateurs in a friendly match on 17 April 1909. Meanwhile, their biggest victory was 10-1 victory against San Marino in the 2002 FIFA World Cup qualification on 28 February 2001. In Belgium, there are three biggest professional competitions which are held. They are Belgian First Division A or Belgian Pro League, Belgian First Division B, and Belgian Cup. Anderlecht are noticed as the most successful club in Belgium with 34 titles of Belgian First Division. In the European Championship competition, they won two UEFA Cup winners, one UEFA Cup, and two UEFA Super Cup. The second most successful club is Club Brugge, with 15 titles of Belgian First Division. They had ever reached one final UEFA Champions Cup and one fi final UEFA Cup. Another most successful team is Turner League, who has won 10 Belgian First Division, one UEFA Cup winner, and one UEFA Intertoto Cup. These three clubs are known as Big Three Clubs in Belgium. I think that is all about brief introduction for football in Belgium. Now let's talk about the most kept players in every position. For Belgium, we set the players into 4-3-2-1 formation, or which is familiar as Christmas tree formation. Now let's discuss one by one. In the goalkeeper, we have Thibaut Courtois. Thibaut Nicolas Marc Courtois was born in Brie, Belgium in 11 May 1992. He has made 70 caps for Belgium with no goal. This number will increase since he is still active both in the club and national team. He made his first appearance for Belgium when he played in the international friendly match against France in 15 November 2011. He made a clean sheet in that match with the final result was 0-0. His senior career was began in 2009 when he played for Gare. Furthermore, he moved to Chelsea and Atletico Madrid before he plays for Real Madrid until now. He is recognized as the best Belgian goalkeeper ever. He always get trophies wherever he plays in the club level. For the biggest achievement, he has won UEFA Europa League, La Liga, Belgian Pro League, Premier League and even FIFA Club World Cup. He was also in the, the Atletico Madrid team to reach UEFA Champions League final before defeated by Real Madrid in the national team. He broke his team to get third place in the last FIFA World Cup. Eric Gerrits in the right back. Perhaps his name is not too familiar for football offers nowadays because he's not an active player anymore. He played for Belgian national team from 1975 until 1991. His full name is Eric Maria Gerrits. He was born in Rekham. Belgium in 18 May 1954. He had met 86 caps for Belgium with three goals. 
his first cap was met when Belgium was 1-2 against East Germany in the Euro 1976 qualification. Later on, Belgium could not qualify for this competition. In the Euro 1980, when Belgium finally could participate, Kers met his first goal for Belgium when his team beat Spain 2-1 in 15 June 1980. As a professional footballer, he started his senior career in 1971 with Standard Leach. Later on, he played for AC Milan in Serie A before he competed in Eredivisie with MVV Maastricht and PSV Eindhoven. In his entire career, he had won a lot of trophies for teams he played. His biggest achievement was UEFA Champions League title in 1987-1988. He won it with PSV Eindhoven. The national team, he got runner up in the Euro at 1980 after defeated by West Germany in the final match. Go to centre back, there is Toby Alderweire, a compact defender for Belgium. He's strong, fast, and smart. He's Tobias about in Maurits Alderweire. He's a very versatile player because he also can play as right back and defensive midfielder. He was born in Antwerp, Belgium in 2 March 1989. He made his first appearance for Belgium in the friendly match against Chile in 29 May 2009 when both teams played a 1-1 draw match. Meanwhile, he scored his first international goal when Belgium lost 2-3 against Japan in the international friendly match in 19 November 2013. Until now, he has made 88 caps for Belgium with 3 goals. He didn't start his senior career by playing for Belgian clubs because he began it by playing with Ajax Amsterdam in 2008. After winning some trophies in Holland, he moved to Atletico Madrid and Southampton before he played for Tottenham Hotspur until now. In the club level, he had won some trophies such as Eredivisie and La Liga. He was also a substitute player when Atletico Madrid reached UEFA Champions League final in 2013-2014. For Belgium national team, he was a key player in the central back when Belgium reached third position in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. For all the world partner, we have Vincent Company. Vincent Jean Boy Company is a son of Congolese immigrant who was born in Brussels, Belgium in 10 April 1986. He is the current captain of Belgian national team. He is known as a charismatic leader in Belgium. Starting his international career in 2004, he has made 87 appearances for Belgium with 4 goals. He played his first international match when his team lost 0 2 against France in the international friendly match in 18 February 2004, while his first international goal was scored when Belgium beat Bulgaria 2 1 in the international friendly match in 19 May 2010. He just played for three different clubs in his entire career. He started in 2003 when he played for Anderlecht. After that, he moved to Germany to play for Hamburger SV before he was transferred to Manchester City. In his whole career, he got most trophies in Manchester City by winning Premier League, FA Cup, League Cup, and FA Community Shield. Unfortunately, he has never won any trophies in the European club competition. However, he was a captain for Belgian Golden Generation who reached third place in the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. For left back, we put Jan Vertonghen. He is a player who holds a record as the most caps player for Belgian national team with 110 appearances and 9 goals. His full name is Jan Bert Lief Vertonghen. He was born in Sydney Class, Belgium in 24 April 1987. His natural position is center back, yet he also can play well in the left back and defensive midfield position. Similar with Toby Alderweireld, he started his senior career in Ajax Amsterdam in 2006. One year later, he got his first cap for Belgian national team in the 2008 UEFA European Championship qualification against Portugal in 3 June 2007. In that match, Belgium lost 1-2. In 12 August 2009, Vertonghen scored his first international goal in the international friendly match against Czech Republic when Belgium lost 1-3. During his career in Ajax Amsterdam, he had never been loaned to RKC Warwick. 
In 2012, he moved to Tottenham Hotspur in the English Premier League. His club career is not success enough because he has only won trophies when he played for Ajax Amsterdam. Until now, he only got two Eredivisie and two KNVB Cup. In the national team, he was also a player who brought Belgium to the third place in the last FIFA World Cup in Russia. Next, Timmy Simons in the defensive midfielder right. Timmy Simons was member of Belgian national team in the 2002 FIFA World Cup. At this competition, his team was knocked out at the round of 16 after defeated by Brazil. Timmy Simons was born in this Belgium in 11 December 1976. He had collected 94 caps for Belgium with 6 goals before he retired from national team in 2016. His first international cap was made when Belgium played 1-1 draw against Czech Republic in the international friendly match in 25 April 2001. In 30 match 2005, he scored his first international goal when Belgium beat San Marino 2-1 in the 2006 FIFA World Cup qualification. He started his senior career by playing for local club KTH Dies in 1994. Then he became a nomadic player by playing for Romel SK. Club Brugge, PSV Eindhoven, and FC Nuremberg before he came back to Club Brugge and played there until he retired in 2018. He was marked as a legend of Club Brugge. In his entire career, he only won some domestic competition in both Holland and Belgium. He got three Eredivisie titles, four Belgian First Division, three Belgian Cup, and one Dutch Super Cup. In the defensive midfield center, we have Maron Fellaini. He is a Moroccan-Belgian player who was born in Etterberg, Brussels, Belgium in 22 November 1987. His full name is Maron Fellaini Bakui. He is a very good player in the midfield who can play role as an anchorman, ball-winning midfielder, box-to-box -box midfielder, and even pseudo striker. His height is his main advantage as a midfielder. In Manchester United, he even played as deep playing target man, a new role in football, who has responsibility to both defend and score goals. In Belgian national team, he made his first appearance when Belgium lost 0-2 against Czech Republic in the international friendly match in 7 February 2007. In the same year, 2 June 2007, he marked his first international goal when his team was defeated by Portugal 1-2 in the 2008 UEFA European Championship qualification. Until now, he has made 87 caps for Belgium and scored 18 goals. Fellaini's senior career was short when he played for Standard League in 2006. Then he moved to Everton two years later. After his impressive performance with Everton, he was transferred to Manchester United in 2013. In 2019 winter transfer window, he moved to China by playing for Shandong Luneng. In the club level, he reached most trophies in Manchester United. His biggest achievement was UEFA Europa League trophy in 2016-2017. In the national team, he brought his team to the third position in the last FIFA World Cup. One of his notable goals was a heading goal when Belgium got a sensational victory against Japan. Another defensive midfielder is Axel Witsch. His full name is Axel Lauren Angel Lambert Witzel. He was born in Leeds, Belgium in 12 January 1989. He also has another nationality, Martinique. In the eyes of football lovers, he was known as a tenacious midfielder. He has very good stamina for a ball-winning midfielder. Witzel is the second most caps player for Belgian national team by making 101 appearance with 9 goals until now. He played his first international match when his team got a heavy defeat 1-4 against Morocco in the international friendly match in 26 March 2008. As a debutant, he scored his first international goal in that match. He began his senior career in 2006 when he played for Standard League before he was bowled by Benfica five years later. After a season in Benfica, he moved to Zenit St. Petersburg. Then he moved to China by playing for Tianjin Fanjia. Now, he plays for Borussia Dortmund in Bundesliga German, where his team is in the top position of league table. In the club level, he won 
Some domestic trophies in Belgium, Portugal, and Russia. Axel Witzel was also a key player in the Belgium's midfield when his team reached third position in the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. Move forward to the attacking midfielder, we have Jan Kielemans. When he was still an active player, he was known as the best partner for Enzo Schifo in the Belgian national team. He was a Belgian playmaker from 1977 until 1991. He made 96 caps at that time and scored 23 goals for Belgium. His full name is Jan Anna Kumar Kielemans. He was born in Lier, Belgium in 28 February 1957. Besides attacking midfielder, he was also very competent to play in the left wing and center forward. He made his first international caps in the 1978 World Cup qualification in 26 March 1977. At that time, Belgium was defeated 0-2 by Netherlands. His first goal for Belgium was scored in the international friendly match against Romania in 6 June 1980. His goal brought Belgium to the victory with the score was 2-1. Kielemans was known as a loyal player because he only played for two clubs in his entire career. He started his senior career in 1974 by playing for a club from his hometown, Lierz. After four years in Lierz, he moved to Club Brugge and played there until he was retired in 1992. In the club level, he had won three Belgian first division titles. 2 Belgian Cup and 6 Belgian Super Cup. In the international level, he brought success for Belgium in the 1980s by reaching runner up of 1980 UEFA Euro and fourth place of 1986 FIFA World Cup. In 1986 FIFA World Cup, Belgium was very impressive by beating some favorite teams before defeated by the champions team Argentina. In another side, there is Eden Hazard. Do you know Eden Michael Hazard? I'm really sure that every football lovers nowadays know this player. He's Belgium and Chelsea superstar. He was born in La Louvre, Belgium in 7 January 1991. He's a very good player who can play as playmaker, winger, inside forward, and even false nine striker. For Belgium national team, he played for 98 appearances and scored 27 goals. With his age which is still 28 years old, he still has opportunity to pass records of either Axel Witzel or even Jan Vertonghen. Hazard made his debut for Belgium when his team played 1-1 draw against Luxembourg in the international friendly match in 19 November 2008. The three years later, he marked his first international goal when Belgium beat Kazakhstan 4-1 in the 2012 UEFA Ch European Championship qualification in 7 October 2011. Hazard is a loyal player. After starting his senior career in 2007 by playing for Lille, he only plays for two clubs until now, Lille and Chelsea. There are many rumors which state that Hazard will move to the bigger clubs such as Real Madrid or Bayern Munich, but the fact is Hazard still plays for Chelsea. In the level club, he has won a lot of trophies. He was the main player who made Lille won double winners in the 2010-2011 season by winning League One and Copa de France. In 2012, he was transferred to Chelsea. Until now, he has won all of domestic competitions with Chelsea. In the European competition, he won UEFA Europa League in 2012-2013. Eden Hazard is the best player of Belgian Golden Generation team who reached third place in the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. The last is Paul van Hims in the center forward. Another retired Belgian player, Paul van Hims. He was born in St. Petersburg, Belgium in 2 October 1943, the year when World War II was still ongoing. He was known as a center forward who often go back to the midfield and defensive area to get the ball. In addition to scored a lot of goals, he also made many assists for both clubs and Belgian national team. In his entire career, he had met 81 caps for Belgium and scored 30 goals. He was active in the national team from 1960 to 1974. He made his international debut in the 1962 World Cup qualification in 19 October 1960 when Belgium lost 0-2 against Sweden. 
his first international goal for Belgium was met in the international friendly match against Hungary in 30 October 1960. In that match, Belgium won 2 1. Van Hing started his senior career in 1959 by playing for Anderlecht until he was retired in 1977. He never played outside Belgium. After 16 years playing for Anderlecht, he moved to Molenbeek and retired in Eintracht Hals. Unfortunately, there was not any trophy that he won until he was retired. However, he was three times top scorer of Jupiler Pro League and four time footballer of the year in Belgium. That is all for starting 11 of Belgian Moscaps players. Now, let's move to the substitution players. First, there is Jean Marie Parf. The second most caps goalkeeper who made 64 caps for Belgian national team. In the right back, we have George Kroon, who has 77 caps and 6 goals for Belgium, who was active from 1984 to 1995. Then we have ex Bayern Munich center back Daniel van Buiten, who won many trophies in the club level. He made 85 caps and scored 10 goals for Belgium. Another centre back is one of the most senior players in the Belgian Golden Generation who currently plays for Barcelona, Thomas Vermeilen. He made 71 appearances and scored a goal. For left back position, there is Michel Renquin, a player who played 55 times for Belgian national team from 1976 to 1987. Move forward to the defensive midfielder, we have Lorenzo Gilles Talens who could play as defensive midfielder, centre-back and sweeper. He had made 70 caps for Belgium and scored 8 goals. Next, there is Frankie van der Elf, who had ever played with Jan Schulemans and Enzo Schifo in the Belgian midfield. He made 86 appearances and a single goal for Belgium. The last defensive midfielder is a Belgian Mali player, Musa Sidiaya Dembele who made 82 caps and scored 5 goals for Belgian national team. Go to the attacking midfielder, we have Belgian legend Vicenzo Daniele Schifo. He played 84 times and scored 18 goals for Belgium from 1984 to 1998. Furthermore, there is a Nepalese player, Dries Mertens. The second striker has made 81 appearances and scored 16 goals for Belgium. Finally, Romelu Menama Lukaku Bolingoli, the Belgian Congolese player, is the all-time top goal scorer for Belgian national team with 45 goals from 79 appearances. There is all the most caps players for Belgian national team. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.